I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. All right, now you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yeah. All right, I'm Mr. Talaferro, Mr. Talaferro TV. We haven't done so what what are you doing if you ain't subscribed to my channel subscribe please support the kid we trying to make a little bit of history right here and your subscribe will go a long way all right as we try to make some history 100k is what i'm going for by the end of this year yeah i know it's like 28 days left i don't care we we shoot shots we shoot shots with that being said i want to talk to you guys about um the second part of J. Cole's false prophet record, the second verse of this record, not aimed at Kanye West, this verse aimed at one of J. Cole's dear friends, Wale, all right? If you haven't checked out my part one of this to Kanye, you probably want to check out that one first, but also you will enjoy this one as well. Like I did with J. Cole's first verse in false prophet, I'm going to go read this one to you as well about what he said about Wale. I'm not going to try to read it in Cole's verse, but I'm going to try to get the cadence down so we can just try to enjoy his lyrics and try to picture where Cole was at. All right, I'm going to read the verse first, and I'm going to come back with a react about what Cole said about Wale, about, about Wale after. All right, here's the verse. I got a homie, he's a rapper, and he want to win bad. He want the fame, the acclaim, the respect that's been had. By all the legends, so every time I see him, he's stressing, talking about niggas, don't fuck with him, the shit is depressing, and I know he's so bitter, he can't even see his own blessings. Goddamn, nigga, you too blind to see you got fans, nigga, and a platform to make a classic rap song, to make to change a nigga's lives, but you too anxious living life, I always worried about the critics who ain't ever fucking did it. I write what's in my heart, don't give a fuck who fucking with it. But in a sense, I can relate. The need to be great turns into obsession and keeps a nigga up late. Writing words, hoping people observe the dedication that stirs in your constantly, but intentions getting blurred. Do I do it for the love of the music or is there more to me? Do I want these niggas to worship me? False prophets, all right, guys. Um, pretty strong words. I, I felt like Cole wasn't as hard on Wale as he was Kanye. I really do believe this just was a, this just was a, a check. Like I think Wale kind of needed this. I think Wale needed this more than Kanye did. From the standpoint of, I don't think Kanye is gonna change. You know what I'm saying? I really believe this verse could either help. Wale, or it really could piss him off and make him really upset at J. Cole. And I, do you do I believe Wale is going to do a diss record to J. Cole? No, I don't think it's there. I don't think any, I don't think Cole said anything disrespectful to Wale. If you really read the verse, pound for pound, it's not really just disrespectful there. He said, "Look, I got a homie. He a rapper. And he want to win bad." Wale has been on countless interviews, um, records saying how bad he want to be in that class. He feel like he ain't in that class of Drake. Kendrick or Cole. A lot of people believe he ain't. Some people believe he do. I actually think Wale has taken a step backwards. That's just me personally. I do believe Wale is still in that top second tier of rap. I believe the top tier goes as following. I believe if it, it, it it's Drake, Cole, Kendrick, Sean, and Chant. I believe that's tier one. And I believe there's a tier two where we have guys who, who have been hard forever just something with their delivery is not connecting with the people as much as these other five guys are. And that, that class consists of Wale, Big Crit, Fabulous, and there's a couple other people on that list as well. So I believe Wale finds himself in that second tier, but it's still the top ten. You know what I'm saying? You're still that top ten of rap. I just believe a lot of times we kind of forget how nice Wale is and how much he puts into this music thing. If anything, Cole kind of argued what Wale had been saying for him, in a sense. You read some of these lyrics, man. It's, to me, if I'm Wale, I wouldn't be upset at, at, at Cole or at all about this. Talking about niggas don't fuck with him, that shit is depressing. And I know he's so bitter, he can't even see his own blessings. What are you saying, Cole? Well, Wale, you too mad about the people who ain't fucking with you? Well, well, Wale, there are millions of people who do fuck with your music. And that's real. 
I've been at a Wale show. Sold out. Sold out. Everybody know every word this songs. Wale got records. Wale has hits. Wale has hits. Lotus Flower Bump, hit. Forever. Forever. Wale has hits. The the, the joint with uh uh, he has a lot of records. Well, he has a lot of records, all right? Like, a lot of records. Let's not get that twisted. No Hands, he's featured on that one. It's a top 10. Top 10, to me, top 10, top 10, 15, twerk song of all time. Honestly, my favorite twerk song of all time, outside of Juvenile, of course. Um, while he got records, man, off the top of my head, I ain't just really thinking about some. But while he definitely has records, man, I don't know why Wale feels the need. Why does he continuously think that he's, not in the top tier of rap. I really believe he is. And I don't know why he's competing for what Drake has. All right, Drake's a light-skinned guy from Canada. Right? We understand to an extent why Drake's in the position that he's in. All right? Look at Wale's records, man. My PYT this year was pretty big for him. Lotus Flower Bum was incredible for him, like I said. Bad with Rihanna, huge. And... um. Ambition had a great album. Uh, Clappers was a huge club banger. Wale has had records, man. I don't understand the need, the want to be in this quote-unquote top-tier rap. And I don't understand why he doesn't feel like he's a part of a, a very prestigious group, man. Um, I don't know where this goes from here. I don't know where this goes from here. My guess, Wale might just step away from the situation. Maybe not Maybe not say anything else to Cole anymore. Maybe I don't need to be talking to this nigga about my problem, right? That's my guess. If I was um, if I was thinking about Wale, but it's a really good record, man. This this record is, is, is really great, man. It's really great. Um, man, a lot of subliminals, man. A lot of, a lot of stuff came out of this record. I want y'all to comment y'all responses below. What do you think about J. Cole telling Wale, bro, you good. You got a great fan base. Nigga, chill. Comment responses below. I go by the name of Britt Delafetto. You're currently tuning to Mr. Telefero TV. Thank you for the time, love, support, salute. I'm out. Hey, first and foremost, I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I would love if you watch other videos while you're on my YouTube channel. Now, while you're here, people ask me all the time, how can you support Mr. Telefero? Well, if you want to support me in my future endeavors, the first thing I want you to do is subscribe to my channel. If you subscribe to my channel, you get all my content first. Your subscribe goes a long way. I get to understand my demographics, understand who support me, who got something out this video. So first things first, a subscribe will go a long way. Next, if you really rock with me, donate a dollar to my GoFundMe. I have a GoFundMe link in the description. If you really want to support me, just a dollar. Showing me that a dollar and some good wishes will go a long way. If you want to support me and you want to help me with my travels, I got a lot of things coming up, but I got to get them travel fees there. I got to find a way to get there. So that can help me financially if you really want to go there. Also, a word of encouragement. Thank you. Whatever it is, talk to me in my comment box below. Comment on this video. Like, subscribe, do whatever you got to do this video. I got to thank you for your time. I don't take it for granted. My name is Mr. Telefero. Now, if you subscribe, help, donate, do whatever, you can see more videos like this, more new exclusive content. I got a lot on the way. Trust me. Thank you. It's Mr. Telefero.com.